Thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to talk about how to handle uh, barter transactions in uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, I have a vendor that I purchase from and who also purchases it from me. Uh, so how to handle it. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, uh, so first of all, uh, when you visit our site, it's uh, uh, it's newqbo.com. We get this call a lot, so uh, let's, uh, let's just mention to you. Uh, newqbo.com, that's our website, and people uh, call us how to sign up uh, this QuickBooks Online. They heard uh, uh, some good news, and they want to try it and uh, see uh, how it will work for them. So you just visit our website, it's home, it's right here, sign up QuickBooks. Or you can just go to sign up QuickBooks. You have all the details, information, and this is our affiliated link. So it will take you to uh, uh, QuickBooks Online uh, and uh, uh, subscribe to it. So uh, that's the first thing. And uh, uh, the next thing is I have already logged in uh, QuickBooks Online. So when you log in, it will look like this, of course. So this happens to be since host plan. But this uh, this process uh, will work uh, uh, if you have essentials or uh, uh, plus plan. If you have a simple start, uh, it won't work all the steps. So uh, plus plan will work, essentials uh, it will work. Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, you will need to create a couple of uh, uh, couple of accounts or list. The first one you want to do is a customer here. So you want to create a, a customer, new customer. So in this case, I already created one here. Uh, I call it uh, Barter uh, Enterprises. Uh, and the bracket is like a C, that's for a uh, uh, customer. And as you know, in QuickBooks, if it's identical, you don't save it. Uh, if it is a uh, Barter Enterprises as vendor, if it is Barter Enterprises as uh, uh, customer you don't accept it so uh, it has to be slightly different so I will create this uh, bracket C here so if you have already created uh, a customer one way and vendor other way that will that will work don't worry about it we'll just you can just use that one so in this case I've created a bar enterprises bracket C for customer and then uh, for the vendors type uh, I also created a bar enterprises uh, uh, bracket V so just to just to separate you know V is for vendor C is for customer uh, as I said if you have uh, uh, already set up customer and vendor uh, for the same uh, same company uh, that's okay you can use those counts uh, so another one you want to create is the uh, the first thing you want to do is we'll create one additional account and a chart of accounts so chart of accounts it's a blue navigation bar chart of accounts it's right here chart of accounts and create new one just create new one bank account type barter bank account that's what we're going to do so here's a new uh new button here you want to create new one just click that one uh i already created one here so i'll show you how i did it so edit so if you just click it here it will you will you will you will see the screen right here and uh, basically all they have to do is bank uh, and set up like that so I will show you how I did it so here's your bank uh, barter clearing account barter clearing and if you have a clearing uh, just try, try to create another one barter clearing so that you don't have to use this for everything else so barter clearing this is just for like a barter transaction between customer customers and vendors uh, so here we go edit I'll show you how I did it. So the customer, a category type is bank, and detail type, it doesn't matter, what do we pick? So I picked the cash on hand type, and the barter clearing, that's the name of the uh, uh, account, and in here, barter description, I just put uh, barter clearing, same vendor, and customer. All right, save it. Okay, so, uh, so now we can get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, let's say, the let's make a case here the case number one I'm gonna do uh, let's say you have a vendor uh, bill for six hundred dollars 
vendor bill for six hundred dollar and a customer invoice that you invoice your customer uh, for five hundred dollars and you have a balance due to your vendor for hundred dollars hundred dollars is due to your vendor so uh, let's 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 see how it will work so first thing uh, as usual you'll enter your bill vendor bill right here so in this case I'm going to enter six hundred dollars from here you select the uh, barter enterprises V and uh, select your account let's just say uh, uh, I'm gonna select some account I said you did bought some uh, you got some uh, bill for some peer repair and maintenance let's say this one is six hundred dollars and this is your uh, uh, vendor bill number all right so this is it eight hundred dollars uh, save and close okay now we go to uh, create customer invoice for five hundred dollars invoice customer invoice five hundred dollars right here and let's just select a product let's say it's a product B product A and it's a five hundred dollar one alright so it's a five hundred dollar and uh, uh, Make it's not taxable. Okay, so uh, so you have a vendor bill for six hundred and your invoice for five hundred. So you owe them hundred dollars. All right, save this. Okay, and uh, uh, let's go to uh, vendors here, vendor center. Okay, here's your thing here, vendor center. Okay, so you want to make a payment from here, parcel payment. Upsetting against the five hundred dollars invoice. Let's go in here. All right. So in here, uh, you already selected your uh, vendor, and in here, make sure to uh, select barter clearing bank account. So if you in here, you will see barter clearing bank account and checking account and the savings account, whatever other accounts you have. So make sure to select barter clearing right here, and uh, in here the parcel payment upset against uh, uh, your customer invoice is $500 right here $500 so this is uh, $500 so you want to apply that against uh, your customer invoice okay so save and close so it's still $100, the invoice uh, vendor bill was $600, so $500 right here. Let's put $500, $500 right here, and just, just save it, save and close, save and close, okay, and now let's go to the customer center, and you can do the same thing, you can do it from here to receive payment and select the customer right here like that one five hundred dollars okay so save and close oh the second here So the, make sure deposit two right here. Deposit two is uh, uh, bar clearing, as I said. You know, if you put it, uh, if you select other ones like I did here, uh, then you know, you don't have a problem. So make sure it's a, ba uh, ba a bar clearing bank account, and the payment method is uh, it's non cash So if you don't have it, just create one non cash type, non cash non cash and the reference number you can put. Uh, Anyway, you want it. Normally, you want to do like a reference number if you are uh, applying against. In this case, the vendor invoice was like one, two, three, four, five. So save it, save and close. So save and close. Okay. So now, if you come to uh, customer pays, so this is what you will see. As you can see here. $500 invoice and pay it's closed and if you go to uh, if you go to vendor center 
so it's low five hundred dollars in here but you can see here invoice was for six hundred and you applied uh, that five hundred dollars to your uh, own invoice so the bill was six hundred five hundred and that's low hundred dollars right here open okay so all you have to do now is uh, make payment let's say we're going to write a check one hundred dollar check all right so this time, you have, of course, you have to select your actual bank account right here and $100, $100 right here. So this is your check number, actual check number and uh, save and close. And if you want to attach your customer invoice or something, you can just attach it here, right here. You can just click this paper click, you can attach, uh, scan it and attach it here. So save and close. Okay, as you can see here, it's now done. Zero, and in here, six hundred dollars, five hundred dollar payment uh, against your invoice, and hundred dollar actual payment here. So non-cash, cash payment. Uh, so that's how it works. Let's see here. Uh, and now, if you go to the cash register, uh, cash register for uh, your. Uh, bar to credit account is to be zero this should be always zero because we're using this as in and out type right here 500 in and out and the balance is zero right here zero that's that's the way it should be that's the way I like it so now this one worked all right so uh now let's make a case of uh, the other way uh so the customer you invoice for two thousand dollars and the vendor they send you invoice for eight hundred dollars and they owe you twelve hundred dollars so if it's, if it works the same way they just delete all these things and uh, uh let's see how the other one will work and if you have more than one invoice or more than uh, one uh, uh vendor bills the process is still the same and also uh somehow you're settling with uh one vendor against another customer uh it will still work no problem delete those transactions okay so we can just revise this if you want uh, so in this case so we're gonna create a, a vendor bill of $800 let's change this to $800 so it will looks exactly the same so $800 right here and go to customers again let's see what's in there so we'll change this to 2000 Okay, so uh, you invoice for two thousand dollar, and uh, the vendor bill is uh, for eight hundred dollar. So they owe you uh, uh, twelve hundred dollars. So the process is still the same. Let's start from uh, receiving payment. You can do it from here. Actually, doesn't matter. So receive payment. Okay. The deposit to still the same. You got to select the the, uh, the customer here, Bard Enterprises uh, uh, customer, and uh, non cash type reference number. You can put it wherever you want here. This is the uh, your vendor uh, bill number, and in this case, uh, it's eight hundred dollars payment. You're gonna you're applying eight hundred dollars payment against this invoice. Uh, eight hundred dollar right here. So you still have you still this low twelve hundred dollars. So save and close. All right. So eight hundred dollars here. Now we're gonna do the uh, make payment of this in, this one too. Eight hundred dollars vendor invoice. Same thing. Eight hundred and uh, make sure it's barter clearing. Okay. So now, as you can see here, the open balance is zero on this one. And if you go to customer side, you should still see 
twelve hundred dollar here. See, twelve hundred dollar balance in here. Two thousand minus eight hundred. There will be uh, twelve hundred dollars. So all you have to do is, once you receive the payment, you just go in here, receive payment, and apply. And in this case, with the uh, actual check, get the uh, customer check, whatever that number is, let's put in here, and you want to deposit that to your actual bank account. Save it. Save and close. Okay. Now, as you can see here, it's margin prices C, it's brand, well, the, the balance is zero, go to vendors, and margin prices V, the balance is zero as well. So both work, see, oh, it's open, balance, over do nothing here, 800, 800, in and out, and customer, same thing. We started with 2,000, 800 apply against that vendor bill, and 1,200 you receive actual payment. So let's go back to uh, bank register to see the barter clearing account has zero balance. Right here is zero balance. It should be in and out for eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars in and out. It worked. So that's how you have to do it. And uh, uh, hope uh, you liked our video. Uh, so uh, please come back again. Uh, our website is newqbo.com, newqbo.com, and uh, uh, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter is at newqbo, at newqbo, and you can also uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.